Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is KSHAR22 here, and uh, previously I had a user on uh, YouTube comment on my, one of my videos how to not only just disable the Windows key, but to disable multiple keys. Now uh, this is pretty easy, and this uh, disables the key globally, not just within the program. So, uh, so disabling Control Alt Delete would be an option. Contr uh, disabling Alternate Tab or Control Tab, whatever you want, or even the Q key is a possibility, you guys. Now, uh, for a example, this is really important. So listen up. Uh, if you want to disable something plus something, so like Control Escape, you're going to want this code right here. And then if you're only disabling one key, uh, you would want to follow this code right here. And to change the key, so if I want to change F1 to uh, F2, it basically, if you're in the IDE, a Visual Studio, it will literally pop up F2 for you. And uh, basically, that's all you really need to know for this part. And then I'm going to go ahead, copy the code, and uh, sum up the code for you guys, put it in a text file, and we'll be good to go, and I'll continue with the actual tutorial. So uh, now go ahead and just boot up Visual Studio and uh, create your own project. Make sure it's in Visual Basic and not C++, of course. And uh, however, you guys, I would like to know what you guys are using this code for because uh, there's a lot of bad things you guys can use this code for and there's a lot of good things. So make sure uh, you guys tell me because that would be interesting. I don't care which way you're using it for, to be honest. But... Uh, it's great to hear what you guys have in mind. Now there is one downside about this code is there is no hook. And what I mean about that is you cannot turn it on and off. But we can create a hook. So let's go ahead and say, let's go ahead and create a tool that will create a hook. So we can make it so this happens only when a form pops up. So we can go ahead and say disable keys. And then uh, I'll get to the code. The code will be in the description. So if you want to just jump into it, go for it. But this is the code right here. It'll be in the description. And then uh, we can just say disable keys. What will pop up is a little form. And then when that form closes, the hook should be undone if I believe right. Now this may not be true and if it's not, then at least you guys don't have to find out on your own. So uh, we can then copy, paste, and then this one can say enable keys. Okay, so for basically enabling the keys, all we want to say is uh, form two. All we want to actually say is uh, application dot restart, and that's it, you guys. Uh, and form one should pop back up. Now when we disable keys, we want to say me.hide and form two dot show. Now we can actually get along with the coding. So go ahead and form two, double click it, and let's go ahead and create our codes here. So this is our uh, code, very long, and I'm gonna get right to whatever we need to do. So go ahead and in the import section of your program, sorry, not uh, that, go ahead and indent and post it in the general. Then we can copy the rest of this and all this just goes in the class, that's it. So in the public class, just paste it there and everything should pop up. Now we can go ahead and analyze the code and I can kind of tell you guys what's going on here. So this is just a clearing and uh, importing some DLLs. Not much to uh, need to know about that. This is uh, declaring our keys and our uh, flags, the time extra that you don't, you don't really need to know about. Uh, your module, don't really need to know about that. This is what I want you guys to know the most about. Basically what's going on is this is replacing whatever key you input in here, it's replacing it as the zoom key. So if you hit the windows key, it's just going to hit the zoom key. And if you guys know what the zoom key does, the zoom key does exactly nothing. So uh, 
basically when you hit Windows key it's doing nothing okay simple as I think I can make it so we have several types here disabling F2 we have disabling the alt and the tab and these are not abbreviated uh, commented correctly then we have the control and the down key and then we also have the control and the escape keys and if you guys wonder how I'm doing this is I can see that the key is equal to the control key and I can see that this key is equal to the escape key and uh, it's just going to create the hook right there and just analyzing this is pretty easy you guys just and if you guys want to add another button you just copy paste you indent and let's say we want this to be F3 go ahead and put F3 and you can do as many keys as you want and let's say we want to go on to letters we can do A and this is going to disable the A key now I hope this is what you guys wanted so let's go ahead and boot this up and see how this runs for you guys so as you can see I can now hit start when I hit disable keys no longer can I hit start I hope you guys can hear it I uh, F I don't room we can scroll down see what other keys are uh, disabled so control escape not sure what I forget what that does alternate tab so alternate tab that is disabled as well when I go to enable the keys the program just restarts form one is now popped up and I can hit start so that's our hook you guys uh, you can also do that all in silent you can create that hook and how you would do that is it, when it says uh, form one load you would go into that event so to make this all silent basically when the forms loading you just say me dot hide and then it won't pop up then also you can uh, create some timers and some loops to also be able to do that and you can even have it so the window state is minimized uh, there's a lot of ways you can create that hook and you can even do that with two programs in one and however you guys you guys can do this uh, other ways and in, in different languages just to cut this short and cut this off I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or requests Comment down below and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe and watch next time. See you guys.